Okay, we've told you uh, where, you know, where to buy these plates and the value of them. Uh, again, what we suggest doing, this is a plate that we just used in one of the, one of the tests. Okay, um, you know, if you take these plates off, and on the back, you can see that we've written the job, okay, the date, the wet mill thickness, it was a thermal, you know, that we were attempting to get. It's a thermal barrier job, okay, and it's been, been uh, signed by the applicant. So if you pull these plates and you have 10 or 20 or 50, it just depends on the job, make sure they dry, you know, before you stack them up together. Um, and put them together, you know, we suggest taking a copy of, of possibly the invoice or packing list of the product that you use. Uh, you know, put down, again, the job location, uh, some way to validate, you know, that the product, maybe a test report. Put these away in a plastic bag and present them to your inspector, your fire marshal, for final sign-off. You can keep them for yourself for long term uh, in case there's a problem up, uh, up in the future. Uh, really important that you're able to validate the coating that was applied is a coating that can be used over the foam that was applied. Okay, so now you have everything that you need to efficiently get the highest yield, the least amount of labor, and most importantly, to be able to substantiate that the product that you use was applied properly, the coating was applied properly, and uh, that you have um, uh, complied to the, the code.